Greetings, dear viewers. Today I have a poem about David Bronstein, um, Mikhail Botwinik, <clears throat> and the 1951 World Chess Championships. I'm specifically looking at game one, and I feel that there are some interesting moments with respect to this game. But overall, as a championship about the 1951, I'm going to be doing a separate video about what exactly happened, uh, and also I'm planning to cover all the important games as well. So in terms of game one, this is when things uh, usually get started and there are going to be some indications of the preparation. I found that in terms of this game, even though the game ended in a draw, it was a draw, but there are a lot of interesting aspects to this game, which I feel is worthy uh, to be mentioned. So first, let me take you through the uh, key positions. So this is one of the key positions. Um, David Bronstein is playing black and Mikhail Botvinnik is playing with the white pieces. In terms of opening, um, Botvinnik was considered as a very great exponent of the Dutch defense. And here we go. Game one of the World Chess Championships, Bronstein employs the Dutch defense. And in a way, psychologically, um, it might have some bearing because Botvinnik writes in his book, <laughs> uh, saying that he did not have anything else to prepare or <clears throat> because um, he wanted to try to uh, test my preparation so so on so in a way we can understand that it does unsettle uh, a player of even botvinnik's caliber so in this position i just wanted to talk about this particular position uh, why sometimes it's necessary to uh, go beyond uh, your principles so for example if you see the blacks uh, pieces you can see that the knight on b8 is there um, it says not yet come out the bishop on c8 of course is um, uh, still on his initial square but bronston keeps away all the principles stating that you need to develop your pieces and tries to uh, engage in a kingside attack and he tr he plays queen e8 which is appreciated by Botvinnik because he says that there is a great chance for black to come up with some kind of an attack because his pieces are going to get quite active so this is one part of it the threat was of course before f3 the threat was to play uh, bishop h3 followed by knight g4 so in a way it was quite an interesting attack and the second key position uh, is this uh, this i found uh, uh, is very interesting because whenever uh, chess coaches are teaching they generally ask you to evaluate how your pieces are doing and if there is any one bad piece the usual suggestion is to actually try to improve it now bronstein em employs this very well even in 1951 he sees that the bishop on e7 is actually not playing a major part in the game and he comes up with a very beautiful maneuver which leads to a very good position for black so here he plays bishop to d8 and he reroutes it to uh, a5 and yeah this is quite interesting because it, it just simplifies even though it simplifies uh, the queens are exchanged we can see that the minor pieces of black are much better placed than the minor pieces of white so these are some interesting moments I felt and of course as I just told the game ended in a draw. So now that you understood all the important details of the game, let's get into the poem. Bronstein had come up with a plan, curious to see how it would pan. He planned to play Botwinnik's favorite opening which was not to Botwinnik's liking. A psychological element, it soon began when Dutch defense was employed by Bronstein. The clever queen move queen e8 to slowly slide and threaten the white king side was a nice find by the challenger who wanted to induce some danger. The reroting of the dark squared bishop showed Bronstein understanding of pieces. This aspect was pivotal for him to become a contender proving that he was a decent defender. The first game ended peacefully with the player settling for a draw. Bronstein had made a small statement that he was indeed hoping for a favorable settlement. So the score of the, uh, after round one is Botvinnik half point, Bronstein half point. I hope you like the poem. Thank you very much for your time.